So I have uh, made an agenda where we are going to focus on three main things. We are going to focus upon how to build a good and searchable LinkedIn profile, and not least how to use it in your job search and for personal branding. When I made the last search, almost 20 million companies have made a company page, including DTU, who have a quite active company page that you could look into. They hope for what is known as employee advocacy. They hope that you and others here will share their content, spreading it in your network on the internet. So that, for example, if DTU is looking for a new professor all over the world, basically, it's not the HR network that will provide this new candidate. It's your network. So if you share it in your network, the likeliness that they can attract a good new professor is much bigger than if they just post it on some other database. I started out on LinkedIn and later on I got on Facebook. And I have made a very distinct separation. I have only quite a few, less than 200 people on Facebook that I call friends and family and with whom I want to share my latest pictures from my holidays, my new dog, my children, whatever I want to share. Whereas on LinkedIn, I have nine or ten doubled that number because on LinkedIn, I'm not sharing anything of a very personal nature. It's, it's all professional. It also gives you a brilliant chance of staying in touch with your network so that it may be five years ago since you went to school together or in my case, maybe ten years ago since we worked together. But I get notified every time people change their job have an anniversary, or have a birthday, for example. Or if they share something of interest that I want to comment on. And every time we have some kind of interaction, our network contract is somehow renewed. So it's not 10 years ago since we worked together. It may be only four months ago since I commented on one of their updates, or helped them with something, or said congratulations on your 10 years anniversary. So you are keeping your network warm, and tight so that if you need them someday to open doors for a potential employer, for example, they're there to help you. It's not 10 years ago, it's only a short time ago since you were last in contact. This is how it looks on the laptop. This is how it looks on your mobile app. You go to someone's profile, you click on the three dots in the top right corner, and you click on personalize invites, and then you can do the same thing. If you just click connect on one of the suggestions that LinkedIn makes you, a non-personalized invite will be sent and they will not know necessarily who you are and why you want to connect with them. Uh, LinkedIn is a database. It's an algorithm. So it has certain parts of your profile that means more to it than other parts. And one of the things that matters a lot are search words. A search word is basically a word that describes you well. So you need to find four or five search words that really describes you well. And you need to repeat them again and again in your title, in your summary, in your headline, everywhere in your profile. One of the questions that these hiring managers and HR people are asked every year is, what channels did you use when you last hired a person? And Obviously, they use a mix of channels, so these numbers would add up to much more than 100%. But what is really important is that we, if we look in 2011, and if we look at the purple line, which is LinkedIn, then we can see that only 5% of the people asked said at that time, yeah, we use LinkedIn as part of our search strategy when recruiting. That number has risen substantially and it has uh, reached a number of 55% in the latest edition of the survey. This is actually concluding almost on time, and I will be happy to answer questions if you have more questions. And if you don't, I will just wish you happy networking on LinkedIn, and I really hope that some of the advice I gave you today were useful, so that you can be even better and use this magnificent tool. So thank you for listening and thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you very much.